Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how to add a full width section to a SharePoint page. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I have a communication site and a bunch of web parts. What I would like to do is maybe add an image that will take the whole width of my screen. As you can see, I have lots of you know space, right? Lots of white space, if you will. Um, between the web parts, I want to an image to fill in the whole screen. Uh, let's give it a try. So if I edit the page and let's say I add a column, just one column, right? And let's say I add an image. Uh, I don't have one, so let's grab from stock images over here. This looks beautiful right here. I'm going to grab this flowers over here. Perfect. So if I hit publish, you will notice that my image uh, does not really take quite take the whole uh, screen, right? I want it to. I don't want any white space on the sides. I want this image to take the whole width. Well, let me show you a trick on how to make it happen. So let's go ahead and delete this. Uh, what we will need to do is we will need to hit a plus sign, and instead of adding a column, you know, different column layout, you just choose full width section. All right, now. You can only add, you know, either a hero web part, all right, which looks like this, all right, essentially uh, a bunch of uh, tiles, if you will, with uh, links behind them and images, of course. You can uh, embed an image or you can embed a countdown timer, all right. You cannot really, you cannot really add any other web parts uh, to this full with a section, unlike here, right? You have a full selection. Um, so let's do the image again, all right. And again, I'll choose the stock image. Uh, this time, let's choose this cool picture over here. And look at this, look at this. If I publish this image, I mean, obviously you can maybe play with the size of the image and all that, but look at this. It takes the whole width of the screen, all right? So uh, unlike all these other parts, web parts which take less real estate. So that's a nice little trick if you want to um, you know, make your page, I guess, a little bit more pretty, spice it up a little bit with some images, maybe a hero web part. That's a nice way to uh, to make it happen. Uh, now, it's worth noting that this uh, full width section option uh, is uh, only available in communication sites, all right? If you have a team site, uh, all right, that, uh, that feature will not be available. All right, that feature is only available on communication sites. And I think the major reason for that is because uh, the you know private team sites are uh, more for two-way collaboration rather than kind of a visual appeal, if you will. And uh, the communication sites are more for of, uh, kind of one-way uh, communication and are more about um, you know visual appeal uh, to the end users. All right. Um, so that's all I wanted to show you in this particular video. Hopefully you learned the new trick. As always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.